Hello learners, I welcome you to the second session of the Tiger Reserve session in our impetus series. Now, uh, as you have seen in the last session, uh, first we will see what we have done in the last session, then we will start with the uh, this session. So, just I uh, will take one minute only to discuss the impetus series as we discussed the last time also that impetus series is just to give you a very unorthodox way to read the conventional material. Some things we con we consider which are in the current affair, but what they are in reality, they are in the static portion. For example, Tiger Reserve. I have taken the first series of Tiger Reserve. Next, we will be coming up with uh, animals. So, what an aspirant sees that these are things the current affair and that is what we should prepare, right? And I agree to it. But the problem is, the current affair is so vast, a news can be in the current affair for a prominent reason. For example, a tiger dies in the Tiger Reserve to a very small one. For example, a relocation, small relocation happened of a tiger from one place to the other. So, we cannot track, keep a track of these small, small events so that we should re uh, read this tiger reserve, we should leave this tiger reserve. So, what with the impetus series, we are giving in a very small, uh, for example, two to three hour session, three, three, three sessions, we will be covering tiger reserve in depth from a static portion so that if any current affair comes, you are just able to relate that tiger reserve and you know its location, you know something about it and your question is done. We have also discussed the five questions, six questions in the recent three to four years that have come and we will discuss after this session how can we approach those questions. This session do not promise you that you will be able to solve all the questions but yes, as the prelims is only about getting, making the probability of success higher, right? So, that is our sole aim. So, let us start with what we have discussed in the last session. So, first of all, we discussed the few questions as I told you that uh, how the questions are coming, different questions are coming, those are considered tough and how this knowledge, this impetus series can help you in cracking these questions. Uh, we started with the, we have divided India into some sections, North, Central India, North, East India, South India for our convenience. And we also see that convenience will help us when we read the Tiger Corridors. In November it, month itself, November 2019, government has come up with the idea of Tiger Corridors. So, we will also see in the next session, how our, our, our own understanding, our own structure has helped us, will help us to understand the Tiger Corridors also. So, uh, we went we read about uh, Jim Corbett and Rajaji in the North India, then we came to the eastern part of India with Simli Pal Tiger Reserve, then Sundarbans, Baksa in the West Bengal region, uh, we came to Northeast with Namdapha, we read that Namdapha is between Mishmi and the Patkai range, uh, we read Kamal, uh, Pakke, this is Hornbill, I also introduced to the idea that how we will be covering the um, animals also animals how will in the very next session after tiger reserve is over we will cover the animal series the, we will read only about the state animals state birds and the critically endangered ones after that your 80 percent of the animal stuff is over after that 20 percent is just those which are very in the too much in the current affair or something really drastic happened for example their population vanished very instantly some study of the bird life international or some study from wwf like this study comes so then we will. Uh, then we have seen the Namiri Tiger Reserve, Orang Tiger Reserve. We have given. I have given you one of the code also. Monk, you can revise in the in the Assam range to remember Tiger Reserve, Manas, Orang, Namiri, and Kaziranga. Then we came to Kamlang. Uh, we have also discussed the relative position of Kamlang with respect to Namdafa uh, Tiger Reserve. Then Manas Tiger Reserve. Then Ka Kaziranga, and finally we ended with Dampa Tiger Reserve. Um, so today we will start with the. Uh, tiger Reserve of the South India. Now, South India, first of all, before entering into it, I will just want to explain you that what you should keep in mind while reading the Tiger Reserve of the South India. Tiger Reserve of the South India, first of all, the locations are very, very close. Very close, close. We will see in the very next map that one Tiger Reserve is almost uh, close to the second one. And it is uh, major, majorly because of the West, Western Ghats is coming, some small, small hills are there, good uh, tropical climate is there, that is why a lot of greenery, ec ecologically valuable and ecologically vulnerable areas are there. Okay, so let us begin. First, uh, we will see a snapshot of the Tiger Reserve, uh, it is Nagar Hole in Bandipur, Mudumalai, Satyamangalam, uh, Parambikum, Annamalai, Periyar, Kalakad, uh, Kalakad, Mudan Thurai. Now, that is name is difficult, I agree, for especially for students from North India, but you see, that is the name recognized, that is a southern Indian name. So, we must have sensitivity also. I also teach ethics, that is why I am saying that we should have this sensitivity. We should not uh, see these names as, we should also try to learn these names because these are tigers. Just like a Jim Corbett is there, similarly Kalakad, Mudun, Mandu Tharai name is also there. So, 
just for the reference. Now we'll come to the first tiger reserve that we will discuss, Bandipur Tiger Reserve. So first of all, we'll see the landscape because and in, in, in the uh, we we also seen the tiger reserve in is in a position mapping with respect to relative to each other. So it is also important. It, it becomes more important for the in the southern area because. They are, they are too much with each other, too much uh, closeness with each other, right? For example, we start with uh, this here. Uh, for example, this is Bandi Potagas, right? For this is Nagar Hole. Just let me. Yeah, this is Nagar Hole. Then this is why not? This is not a tiger reserve. It's a wildlife sanctuary is only there, but it is a very famous wildlife sanctuary. Then this is Mudumalai Tiger Reserve. Then Satyamangalam. You see the closeness there, very uh, very uh, nearby to each other. Then this is uh, uh, Biliranga uh, hills are there, and this is the landscape. Here from here the Western Ghats are coming, Eastern Ghats are coming. So we'll see how the ecology also plays a very important role. So we are currently reading a Bandipur Tiger Reserve. Okay, so let's go more. Bandipur Tiger Reserve, uh, second highest tiger population in India. It is along with the Nagar Hole. It is a premier tiger reserve in India. Uh, premier tiger reserve region in India, and the most important part is here. Uh, there are many types of biome, but the dominant one is dry deciduous forest is dominant. Just to reiterate what what we have discussed in the last session also, that there will be the question can be asked. This questions you must have seen the test series, many of the test series that we are giving, that many of the fact about a, a place is given. Then they uh, give you four options. You know uh, that place is Bandipur, Nagar Hole, uh, or Mudumalai, or Jim Corbett. So even if you do not know the four facts given in the question. You, if you know only the one fact and you know it uh, concretely, then you will be able to solve the answer. Then Bandipur, uh, that is the point I was discussing with you that along with Mudumalai, Vayanad, it forms the part of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. After that animal series, we will move to the Ramsar, then finally we will move to the Biosphere Reserve also series. We will try to cover that series before the prelims itself. So. Uh, so that your mapping portion with respect to the static portion is also covered and you also have some facts with respect to it. So Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve uh, consists of these things, uh, Nagar Hole, Bandipur, uh, Mudubalai, Vainat Reserve. For example, this year question came, August Malai Tiger Reserve or August Malai Biosphere Reserve consists of which of the following uh, protected areas. So a lot of options were given. So similar question can be asked for the Nilgiri also. So Bandipur. Uh, I'll share a story with you. For example, when I was going from Masur to Uti, so uh, earlier I found Nagar Hole and then Bandipur. So a road connects from the Masur to Uti. If you go, I came with my parents. So it was so fascinating that I was going through uh, the Nagar Hole and the Bandipur road. So uh, I was I was able to see so many wildlife on the roads also. Like um, I saw an elephant very nearby the road. I saw some deers there. So uh, that's what it is mentioned also here that it is about 40 kilometers from the city of Mysore on the route to Uti. Uh, Bandipur Siza, obviously a lot of tourist traffic, but because the there is no as such corridors for them. So what happens that uh, the if animal is crossing between and the vehicles are going very fast, then a lot of casualties of the animals is there. So that is why a ban on traffic is there so as to decline the death, death rate of them can be uh, reduced. So this is the, for example, uh, this uh, news itself is not important, but I'm trying to show you that uh, in the name of development, many of the governments come up with the roads bet uh, between the tigers are. Now imagine a road, for example, this road I was talking about, uh, yeah, this road from Nagar Hood is coming to going away. But this road which goes in between the tigers are, how difficult that would be for the wildlife. So many casualties, so much harm to the uh, ecological region. So, that is why like environmentalists don't uh, like protest a lot against these kind of development right development and ecology should go in congruence with each other okay let's move on let's move to the nagar hole tiger reserve now location we have already seen this is nagar hole tiger reserve this is bandipur so it can come to a range in the north and south because these two we read in a very uh, like uh, in a very continuity sense either continuum between nagarpur nagar hole and the bandipur but we should know that it's a northern side and the, it is in the southern side. Next, uh, it is also most importantly Rajiv Gandhi name is given. Rajiv Gandhi, this is the name of Rajiv uh, Ragar who is also known as Rajiv Gandhi. Now you, there you need to learn some tricks or story behind how to um, remember those facts. During the course of this session and the current affairs series that is uploaded on the YouTube simultaneously on this channel, 
um, Amrita Institute that we will also learn some of the stories how to cram facts also because uh, remembering so many facts is difficult for the aspirants to remember so many facts so many horizontal facts are there so only one name of the uh, name given to the tiger reserve in the southern area only one name is given that is Rajiv Gandhi National Park right so which one is uh, uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Park whether it's Bandha, Bandipur or Nagar Hole so you can remember like that small story that makes no sense you can uh, imagine like whole are uh, humans are whole right something like that animals are partial humans are whole so human from human you can go to Rajiv Gandhi and that is how you can just remember the fact if you just remember a small story you don't have to cram this fact and it will help you in fetching the marks if the question comes in that for example pakke to pukhoi the question has come so you should also remember these kinds of question so uh, the line the last point is very similar that it is a premier tiger along with the bandipur so um, it is under the consideration for unesco world heritage committee for selection of the world heritage site so there are in, in india there are so many world heritage sites, both cultural and the natural category so along with the uh, nilgiri biosphere reserve sub cluster of this is considered is also consideration for the world heritage site it is so beautiful that it should be in the world heritage site it's so greenery so uh, marvelous the park has a healthy predator to prey ratio and it is very important to have a very uh, healthy predator to prey ratio must be learning in their static uh, ecology section that why there has to be a good uh, the, prop, the ratio of the predator to prey should be four there should not be skewed in one side if there are so many uh, preys and no predator as in so many deers and no one to kill them the grazing the, a lot of problem with respect to grazing their population will flourish who will eat them so that is why i need a very healthy ecosystem the food chains the food webs are based upon this fact only okay that brings me to the third uh, tiger reserve in the south area that is mudumalai now this shows the only the absolute location we already seen like um, bandipur is here and nagar hole is there so this is mudumalai it for it comes under the tamil nadu region now tiger reserves are declared by the uh, state governments we will see in the next session so that is why a different different names are there and on the boundary we will see in the south india so many different different tiger reserves if you see again this landscape this is mudumalai tiger reserve this is in uh, karnataka but this comes in the tamil nadu region so um, it lies on the west east uh, northwest side of the nilgiri hills blue Hill mountains and it shares boundary with the state of karnataka and kerala kerala also the tri junction is there right tamil nadu Karnat karnataka tamil nadu and kerala so again the same fact that its subcluster is under the world heritage site uh, this is very important 226 species that's not important critically endangered indian white rumped vulture and long billed vulture so we'll read about these uh, animals those are critically endangered in india not all but for be like we'll try to include so many of the critically endangered or the endangered ones okay so critically endangered wild indian wild indian white uh, rumped whale vulture and long billed vulture are there um, and they are protected to some endangered species like elephant bengal leopard it's common so after Mudumalai, this again this map is here uh, the similar map in a different uh, way for example you here you can see uh, just one second let me pick up the pen yeah so you can say the this uh, Rajiv Gandhi National Park that is same as the Nagar hole then you came to Bandipur Madhumalai we have seen now we will see some of the important ones for example uh, Satya Mangalam is here right and uh, uh, why not wildlife century we also discussed not discussed but it is there the location we have discussed okay so uh, that is brt we also will also see because that's one of the tiger reserves okay so after that we'll come to the satya mangalam tiger reserve so location you can see here the earlier we are discussing mudumalai somewhere over here so you can compare the for example you see mudumalai somewhere over here and this is uh, satya mangalam is over here so Satya Mangalam is over Satya Mangalam Wildlife Sanctuary and Tigers, Tiger Reserve. So, um, it is in the Erode district of Tamil Nadu, first of all. And secondly, uh, it is the forest range significant wildlife corridor between the rest of Eastern Ghat and the Western Ghat. Now, that is very important. That it is a corridor, it is said to be a corridor between the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve between the Western Ghats and the rest of the Eastern Ghats. Next, this is very important point. It's a genetic link between the four protected areas, which is adjoins. Genetic link: Billi, uh, Bilgiri Ranga Swami Temple Wildlife Sanctuary and Mudumalai uh, National Park, Bandipur National Park, and some uh, Sigur Preto also. Okay, so all the places are so nearby. That is why UPSC asks questions on that also sometimes. 
because they want to have a very clear idea clear cut where is the location of each uh, tagger reserve okay so after that we completed the in the below portion now we'll move to the northern part of karnataka not central northern so we'll read about kali uh, tiger reserve and bhadra and tiger reserve bhadra tiger reserve uh, bhadra tiger reserve it's in the central uh, karnataka uh, you can see a highest peak in habigiri uh, highest peak uh, century habigiri is also the name of the falls one of the falls here habbe falls this is also another uh, name of the fall Manikya Dhara Falls, uh, located nearby Bada, Baba Budan Giri Hills. The tributary of Bhadra River flows west through the century. So, a tributary of uh, Bhadra River. Bhadra, that is why the name Bhadra is given, right? Sometimes the name have a uh, origin also. So, tributary of Bhadra flows west through the century. The western border of century um, has the Bhadra Reservoir. That is not too much important. So, why Bhadra name is given? Because Bhadra, the tributary of Bhadra passes through from this tiger reserve. As I told you last time also that you need to remember the uh, the rivers passing through some, uh, for example, some of the tigers that we, ha we have read that near Baba Budan hills. So, hill, uh, hills if they are important, some uh, uh, rivers, some tribes if they are associated with the tiger reserve or some current fact is associated with the tiger reserve. We see Kali tiger reserve. Now, like uh, Pakke was named uh, as uh, Pukhoi. So, similarly, Kali Tiger Reserve is also known as Dandeli Anshi Tiger Reserve. This was renamed from the to Kali Tiger Reserve. Okay. So, Kali Tiger Reserve, it is in the Uttara Kannada district of Karnataka. It is in Karnataka, you just remember that Kali River follows. Like Bhadra River there, Kali River flows through it. And that hence the name. Okay. The park is the habitat of uh, Bengal Tiger, Black Panther, Indian Elephants and among the distinctive fauna. Sometimes too many facts with respect to a place are not that much important. Only the location is important. But we have, we, as we are doing this series as a static portion, relatively static portion, that is why we want to cover all the tiger reserves. Okay. So next tiger reserve comes Bilgiri Ranga Tiger Reserve. Uh, the location you can see here, it is in the Karnataka Hill. This is the boundary uh, you can see. We have also made the boundary in the next. Uh, you see here. Yeah. This is the Bili Ranga. I just wanted to show you that it's in the Karnataka state. And this is Tamil Nadu state, right? Okay. So, uh, Bilgiri Ranga, common known as BR Hills, uh, it is also simply finally known as BRT, uh, the Wildlife Sanctuary, that we have seen in the first map that we have seen. That PRT, Wildlife Sanctuary, is there. Okay. Um, it is protected reserve under Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. And it is in the, uh, like, it is border with the Tamil Nadu's Erod district border. This point is important being at the starting point of the Eastern Ghat and the very close to the Western Ghat, the sanctuary is home to the ecosystem that are unique to both mountain ranges. Okay, so it lies at the uh, starting point of the Eastern Ghats. See, because it is above the this is Satyamangalam BRT somewhere over here. So, Eastern Ghat start from there. So, it and also Western Ghats are also nearby. So, it has the characteristics of both the regions. Um, okay. So next we move to the, uh, the this Andhra and the Telangana region and we will see Nagarjun Saran Sari Silam Tiger Reserve in the boundary of the Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. It is said to be the largest tiger reserve in India. It is spread across five districts. Uh, we do not have to remember that. Reservoirs and temples are the major tourist attraction for them. Uh, what other things are important? This hill name is important. It, the area consists of the Nallamala Hill. Now that hill is famous. That is not a very small uh, name and uh, that name is mentioned in your geography and CRT also. So, you should remember that Nallamala Hills is in the Nagarjunam Sari Silam, but varies from plain to precipitous cliff. So, a lot of attitudinal variation is there. The more the attitudinal height, this is height, the more the attitudinal variations, the more the, the ecological uh, um, uh, vibrancy of that particular area. Okay? okay, so Krishna, this is important point Krishna River. So, Nagarjunam Sari Silam, Krishna river passes through. Now, while what, what I will suggest to you, for example, you are reading the you are uh, reading the rivers. Now, many of the good aspirants also read rivers also because UPSC kept on asking, uh, kept on asking uh, the rivers, tributaries. So, what is in, in the cities, uh, good cities located nearby them. So, UPSC has asked so many on those questions, on those lines, right. So, um, what you should do when you are reading about the rivers, what you should do, you should read about 
uh, in the second portion now you, after this series you must be knowing all the tiger reserve if you watch it seriously and make some notes also and make some diagram in your map also as i have suggested in the last session in the last like what you what you should do at your home to get more advantage of this series when you are reading rivers just to the reverse part for example you are reading krishna river then remember okay tiger reserve was there so just mention in your notes the tiger reserve they reinforce the same fact from the one part to the other the interconnection of topics okay uh, next next we talk about the armabad tiger reserve now you'll tell me that it is similar the location of armabad is very similar to in the nagarjunam sari salam yes you are right because armabad you see uh, yeah in the, this point earlier it was a part of the nagarjunam sari salam but post bifurcation of telangana and andhra pradesh the nadan was vested with telangana and renamed as amrabad tiger reserve so this is with telangana just remember that you should not get confused the nagarjunam sari salam is andhra's or telangana so for example just remember that telangana was new so they gave up a new tiger reserve the same area was named as the new tiger reserve whatever was lying in that uh, region okay not too much to read into its uh, geographic geography because uh, we already did the nagarjunam sari salam next is kaval tiger reserve we see in the northern part of telangana this kaval tiger reserve uh, so the reserve is the oldest sanctuary in the northern telangana region of the state it is well known for its abundant flora and fauna sanctuary is the catchment of the river godavari and kadam which flows uh, towards the south of the sanctuary okay so res uh, re uh, reserve is the oldest sanctuary in this region and the river catchment area for river gaveri and the kadam that is very important then again we come back to our uh, discussion on the this region we have already covered bangar nagar hol bandi mudumalai satyamangalam okay now we move down south first we'll cover the periyar tiger reserve periyar is both elephant and the tiger reserve very famous tiger reserve is there periyar tiger reserve right so if you are from this place uh, you know if from kerala if you are from idukki ernakulam you know these from this area you are you know that is a peria tiger reserve the and the park is a repository of the rare uh, endemic and endangered flora and fauna two major watersheds of the river of the kerala this this point is very important that is a watershed of the important river of periyar and pamba so just remember this fact the park is often called as periyar wildlife sanctuary or uh, thekadi this is located in the high in the cardamom hills and the pandalam hills so cardamom hills are very important cardamom hills cardamom hills are very important it is located here so question can be asked for example if they see for example if you see uh, the locations are so nearby you have zoomed this image you see you have zoomed this image then you are able to see it very clearly if you see in the whole map of india then everything seems to be merging with each other now cardamom hills you know it is in the south like if you have not revised if you have not put a due diligence into preparing this then you must be in south india now periyar is also in south now annamalai is also in south so where it is if it is annamalai or the question you can confuse that whether it mudumalai and uh, cardamom hills are nearby to each other no only cardamom hills are nearby periyar okay uh, let's move uh now we'll see param bikulam so you see two tiger reserve in very congruent very nearby uh param bikum and annamalai it's just the uh, the the state different is difference is there so param bikum is in the kerala state uh, it includes it, this sanctuary and it's not very important um, it is in the sugam range of the hills between annamalai hills and the nelam pathi hills so please remember the name of the hills see photo there a uh, tourist attraction so um here a different thing you can see here that uh, here the tribes helps in the management of the helps not in the management but the overall ecological uh, um ecological wellness of the area they for example a very good example is said to be of the gir national park and the maldhari community maldhari community uh, plays a very critical and they have they share a very symbiotic relationship with the um tigers there Lion, sorry, not Asiatic lions. In that, we won't read gear in the series. Asiatic lion. After Tiger the series, um, we we will come. We will try to come up with famous national parks. Not the all the national parks we cannot cover, but we will try to cover the uh, important national parks. Okay. So 
यू कैन सी सो मेनी डिफरेंट ट्राइब्स आर मैंशन कदर मलासार मुदुवर माला मस माला मलासार सो जस्ट रिमेंबर अ फ्यू जस्ट रीड इट रिवाइज इज वंस मोर एंड यू रिमेंबर फुल इंडिजिनस ट्राइब सो दे प्रैक्टिस पार्टिसिपेटरी फॉरेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम स्कीम सो दे बिलीव दैट इंक्लूडिंग लाइक वर्ड द वन ऑफ द मोर सस्टेनेबल एंड द गुड वे ऑफ कंजर्विंग दिस वाइल्ड लाइफ इज इफ यू आर एबल टू एम्पावर दिस लोकल कम्युनिटीज विच आर लिविंग देयर बिकॉज दे हैव अ वेरी दे हैव अ नैक और दे हैव एन एप्टीट्यूड टू अडॉप्ट दे हैव अडेप्टेड टू दोज प्लेसेज so as an outsider cannot conserve those places like those people so what needed is a joint forest management system like that schemes you must be reading in the uh, forest rights act jfm these things are very important with respect to that people of the tribal how they help they become the guide for the tracks and safaris they employment through eco tourism activities okay uh, so again perambikum so this is a core area and the buffer area i'll dis discuss in the core and this is a core area buffer area what is important because the biosphere reserve has three area core um, gore buffer and transition area so this is very important that that in tiger uh, in the tiger reserve there are only two area this is a core area where no activity is like very minimum activity is required and here some some kinds of uh, um, uh, restrictions are lifted here okay next we come to annamalai tiger reserve annamalai tiger reserve earlier known as Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park. It is located in Annamalai Hills. Now, Annamalai Hills is very famous. So, an, near Allam Annamalai Hills, Annamalai Tiger Reserve is located. Okay. So, this is the uh, uh, location of Annamalai Hills. We have already discussed here. What is Param Bikulam Tiger Reserve? So, this is Annamalai Tiger Reserve. This is Param Bikulam. Okay. Let's move to the last one here. Kallakkad Mudun Thurai Tiger Reserve. Right. so welcome to the kallakkad mudumurai uh, tiger reserve i have just put these images so as to you see um an aspirant always looks up to a material from also an aesthetic perspective also so if if the content is beautiful if the presentation is good if the narration is good you will feel more prone to read that material right so that is the point uh, to make some beautiful ppt so that uh, videos so that uh, you feel more affinity towards that video and you are able to get the content that is more important this content is more important right these images are not they are just to relate with you so that you have more motivation and incentive to see these videos that is why a very good example is we see like we can see we feel very boring when we see two hour lecture but if the three hour movie is there we are very happy we we won't see that how time passes by so the kallakkad mudumalai tiger reserve located in the southern western ghat in the thiruvai district uh, in the kanyakumari district in southern state of tamil nadu it is in the very uh, southern range as you have seen you see very south in the agasthimalai biosphere reserve in the agasthimalai we have not discovered agasthimalai here we will discover that in the uh, uh, biosphere reserve discussion and we also discover in the next session because the question was there by agasthimalai biosphere reserve so we will discuss agasthimalai biosphere reserve there as so So, second largest protected area in Tamil Nadu, behind only Satya Mangalam Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, so this is the an absolute uh, image where the location. So, with this, we come to an end to our discussion of uh, uh, tiger reserves in the southern India. Now, we'll discuss about central and the western India. Just to reiterate few points, southern India has tiger reserves very close near nearby. And the state-wise issue is there. For example, Annamalai we have seen, Param Bikulam we have seen, Satya Mangalam we have seen, Mudu Malai we have seen. and there bandipur nagarhol that's in the same state bandipur or nagarhol is also name as no named as nagarhol hol to human human to rajiv gandhi right okay so let's come to the tiger reserve in the central india in central india first we will see some tiger reserve in the pili bhit tuduha and valmiki it is in the up and it is in bihar okay so we have already covered raja ji and uh, jim corbett why we have not dis just to reiterate this these were we, we covered uttarakhand in the north india and now we in the central india central india covers up bihar mp chatisgarh jharkhand so we will discover that here this was i was talking about the tiger corridors ntca national tiger conservation authority in consultation with wii wildlife institute of india has published a document connecting population to long term conservation so they have made the corridors so i just wanted to mention here we will discuss in de uh, detail the corridors so that is why we need the locations are very important for example you see one of the corridor is corbet to dudua raja ji to corbet 
So if you see in this image, this is Rajaji to Corbett, Corbett to Dudua. This this is the corridor, one corridor. This is second corridor. So they are making corridors like that, so that long term conservation can be made. Now we see Valmiki Tiger Reserve. Uh, first we'll see Valmiki Tiger Reserve. Valmiki Tiger Reserve you can see very near to Nepal boundary, right? Valmiki Tiger Reserve located in Indian Nepal border, West Champaran district of Bihar. Champaran, you know, everybody knows that uh, 1917 Champaran uh, movement by Gandhi ji on the bank of River Gandak. So just remember the name of the river. Uh, it is the only national park in Bihar. Why is it so? Why is the only national park? Because a lot of plain area is there. I discussed with if the too much latitudinal or oh, altitudinal variation will be there, too much uh, the climate type uh, will be there. It's a great great plain it lies, right? Tarai region. So Tarai because of Tarai region only we have this much wildlife. For example, you have seen uh, if I again sh uh, show you the map of uh, this thing, you see, uh, you know, you can see a pattern here in a similar line. So these are the Tarai region of the Himalaya. We also read in the notes Tarai region of Himalayas. That is why you find a lot of wildlife here. Tarai you must have learned in your uh, Great Plains in the geography book in CRT, right? Okay. So the pristine forest and the wild, uh, wilderness of um, Valmiki Tiger is an excellent example of Himalayan Tarai region. In north protected by the bordered by the Nepal's Chitwan National Park and while bound the sanctuary from the western side, Uttar Pradesh on the western side. Valmiki Tiger Reserve, uh, uh, important tribe is there, Tharu. Important scheduled tribe is dominant community here. Other tribes are also there and they are collectively known as Dangar. You should read also what is written in the slides. I am just uh, focusing on the important portions so that so that uh, like we can move very efficiently also. And uh, which means re uh, retained laborer in the Orang district. Orang dialect, sorry. Okay, so just remember a few tribes associated with the place that is Tharu and Dangar. Now we come to the UP. We discuss Pili B, then we'll discuss about Dudhua. This is Pili B Tiger Reserve. It is written in the Hindi. Okay, Hindi belt. Now we are in. It is located in the Pili B district, Lakhimpur and Bahrai district. It lies in the Nepal, in the Nepal border. We have seen in the Tarai region. We've already discussed that. So the northern, the northern eastern boundary of the reserve is River Sharda. Sharda river is there and the which means uh, which defines India into Nepal border while the northwestern boundary is marked by river Sharda and river Ghagra. So this small small river you must be learning in the uh, uh, for example uh, a very good map is there of that is UP and there are so many rivers Ganga is coming so these rivers join from here. I hope you are doing all this because these are very important from the prelims perspective even if they do not come into the examination if you know all these things it will boost your confidence and prelims is just about having confidence and just uh, minimizing the fear right what i say the prelims is the elimination of fear so you have to eliminate the fear by reading all this the reserve is the finest example of highly diversified and productive tarai duar savanna grassland ecosystem right uh, a study by uh, world world wildlife institute of india that this area is very uh, very important it has a very large ecological significance because if we preserve this area and make it a good one a lot of tigers can be prevailed a lot of tiger and other uh, um, you see duduha pili bhi tiger population like conservation value they can be conserved a lot better in this area next we come to duduha tiger reserve duduha tiger reserve the location pili bhi was somewhere over here balmiki we have seen somewhere over here right so just re remember the relative locations also it is in the Tarai belt, Tarai belt in the marshy grassland of uh, northern UP is a part of the Dur Tiger Reserve and uh, it, same po point is India Nepal border. Again the Tarai ecosystem, so just return point, point uh, uh, what, what wildlife sanctuary it includes, Kitar Katarnia Ghat wildlife sanctuary, actually that's uh, uh, one of the places I have, this, uh, uh, Barai district is one of the places I have spent a lot of time. So together with Kishanpur Wildlife Sanctuary and the Kataraniya Ghat Wildlife Sanctuary, it formed the part of the Dudua Tiger Reserve. The most northern, like the most northern India, has an extreme CWA climate. Now you must be reading the climate classification of India. A climate classification of India, CWA is CWA, uh, DFC, the small small things that India is divided into so many climate categories. All this is in geography. That is your prerequisite of before coming to Tiger Reserves. Right? Discuss that earlier also. So it has a very extreme CWA climate 
next we come to Jharkhand. Now the only the only one in the state of Jharkhand that is Palamau, Palamau uh, Tiger Reserve is the one of the nine original Tiger Reserve. In 1973, the project Tiger came. So it obviously it started with some number, some initial the original Tiger Reserve. Then slowly, 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 the Tigers have Tiger Reserves have increased, right? So it was the original one of the original nine Tiger. It formed the part of Betla National Park and Palamu Wildlife Sanctuary. So you also remember the for example we I discussed that we cannot cover so many national parks now whatever national parks are covered here you should remember those at least for example Betla National Park is nearby this region only uh, if we see the location the location is here Palamo National Park this, this is Jharkhand not Bihar maps look a bit similar that is why okay next uh, for example you can see yeah, relative location you can see here, Pili Bheet, Dudhua, Valmiki, Palamau. Now we are entering into the uh, Madhya Pradesh region. Uh, first, we are, we, currently we are discussing Central India. Central India, UP, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, uh, Jharkhand, MP, right? So, so many tigers we have to discuss here. So, uh, now we come to MP. So MP we will discuss uh, Bandhogar, Panna, Sanjay, Sanjay, Kanha, Pench, Satpura, Melghat will come in the West India. Western India. So so many tiger reserves in the a lot of density of tiger reserves you can see in the MP here in this portion. First we come to Sanjay Tiger Reserve. It is on the boundary or you can see here uh, either MP and either is Chhattisgarh. Separated in 2000. What is the capital of Chhattisgarh? Raipur. Okay. Should also remember these small small facts we, which we think that they are very important from only from GK perspective. Like they come in the examination like SS or like SSC or something. But a good aspirant you should know these facts because you never know when when these things will help you in your examination. When elimination may even if it eliminates one option, it will increase the probability of getting the question right. So, uh, Tiger, Sanjay Tiger Reserve National Park in Chhattisgarh and MP district, it is located in Narmada Valley Dry Deciduous Forest Eco Region. Remember that. Narmada Valley. Uh, all of uh, in, it was in Madhya Pradesh when Chhattisgarh uh, got out in 2000, right? Next, uh, the notion it is, yes, this is important. It is named after Guru Ghasi Das, a local uh, early spiritual leader, right? It shares five bond, shared five tiger with MP. Not important. Um, so this this fact is important. The overall area is last known to be last territory of Asiatic cheetah. Actually, India is said to be the home to one of the uh, almost all the variety of the cats. Tiger come in one of the cat cheetah, leopard, lion. Okay. Now Satpura Tiger Reserve. Satpura, we know also know the Satpura range is there. You should see the, you should, the, I hope you are prepared. If you are not prepared, it's still a few days to go for prelims. So you should prepare the, you know, the hills, small, small hills. There also Satpura is, uh, Satpura National Park derived its name from the Satpura range. Obviously, the terrain is extremely rugged and consists of sandstone peak, red, uh, narrow jorts, jor ravines and dense forest. It's, you can see its altitude, so much variation. The common theme that we are discussing that. The altitude variation, the more altitude variation will be there, the more uh, wildlife uh, uh, vibrancy will be there. So, apart from that, we can see some cultural uh, aspects to this Salpura. Now, it is very significant. We have there some must be some cultural associated with the other uh, tigers are also. But it, if it is so prominent, that we are dis discussing in the Satpura, it may help you to eliminate if the question comes in that direction. So, Pando caves, Pando. So, uh, landmark in the Satpura tag, uh, National Park, Pando Caves, which lent their name to the present uh, um, Panchmari, present, per, uh, present hill station of Panchmari. Panchmari is a very famous uh, um, tag, uh, hill station in the MP. Ancient case are carved on sandstone rocks in the hills of Satpura from which forms the famous Pando Caves. Uh, some mythologies are also associated with these places. We also see the Bandhavgad, how the high mythology of Ramayana is associated with it. Then rock painting, they are very important from the perspective of archaeology also. 
um, there are more than 50 rock shelters which have rock paintings, animals like elephant, tiger, deer, porcupines. So, rock shelters are there, right? Okay. Next, uh, we will see Panna Tiger Reserve. Panna Tiger Reserve, we will see. Location we have seen. So, located in the Panna and Chhatarpur district of MP in, MP in India. It is uh, uh, here. The, the point is, uh, it is also a biosphere reserve. First of all, you also remember that it is a biosphere reserve. For example, we have seen uh, what is the biosphere reserve. One of the biosphere reserve is so many biosphere reserve we have August Malai we have discussed, Nilgiri we have discussed, right? So, Panna itself is a biosphere reserve. Uh, Sal, crocodile, bark, Arjun, Jamuna trees present here. Sal, a very famous species, we will see so many, so many nearby tiger reserve. Sal is found. Um, because of the poaching and collusion with the uh, forest department officials, the tiger population suffered a lot here. Recently, Panna was in news because of the first uh, interlinking river interlinking project. Uh, uh, Betwa can you see can here now the problem was that the can was can passes through this uh, tiger reserve this is the panna tiger reserve and passes through it so a lot of problem was i guess the question was also as upsc can passes through which tiger reserve uh, the uh, panna tiger reserve was the answer so when ketwa betwa can betwa link is there so uh, so a lot of area of 33 percent supposedly area was to be submerged so a lot of wildlife problem will be there but still after so much eia uh, environmental impact assessment the finally the project was given go ahead and it's been now started panna tiger reserve uh, uh, the we are we are just discussing the, and this is very important fact with respect to panna tiger reserve that is situated at a point where the continuity of the tropical and the subtropical dry broadleaf forest belt which starts from the cape comorin in the south is broken and beyond this gangetic plain moist deciduous forest of the great Indi uh, indian plain begins for example what what they are saying south from south the tropical because tropic passes from here right eight states in india so this region the the uh, the vegetation of this region ends here also here in the panna tiger reserve that is it is it can be seen the, that is tropical and the broadleaf dry uh, dry broadleaf forest belt okay and from here uh, that is why it is said to be the another most tip of the natural teak forest okay so what is going on vegetation because of the latitude the vegetation changes so the southern the northern most point of this vegetation this dominant vegetation is what we find in southern india it is in the panna tiger reserve so you can like relate to it and remember this fact can river we have already discussed uh, can river a significant part uh, along with the can galial wildlife sanctuary adjoining territories so the similar points are there next we move to the bandhogal tiger reserve uh, the welcome to the land of tigers so it is in the umaria district of mp you don't have to remember the district so bandhogal as i told you ramayana uh, mythology is associated with it the park derives its name from the most populent hillock of the area which is said to be given by the Lord Rama to his brother Lakshman to keep a watch on the Sri Lanka, Ceylon. So, Bandhagad Tiger Reserve is there. So, it is a, it is named after a hillock, a pahadi, what we say, cliff type, that kind of a thing where he can sit and he can have, uh, he can sit at a height and can watch over, um, watch over uh, on Lanka, from here to Lanka, you see such an imagination in mythology um, next uh, bandhogad uh, in this has a large biodiversity has a large breeding population of leopards and various species of deer uh, a historical fact that maharaja martan singh of reva captured first wild white tiger here this white tiger mohan his name was mohan is not uh, stuffed and on display in the palace of maharaja's reva issues currently facing almost all the tiger reserves are facing the issue of mining this road construction that I have discussed on the when we are discussing the uh, Nagar hold bi biosphere reserve, right? So we have done uh, uh, Sanjay, we have done Sanjay, we have done Bandho, we have done uh, Panna Tiger Reserve. Now we move to the next one that is Pench, that is Pench Tiger Reserve at the boundary of MP and Maharashtra. So inside the park, Pench River flows. Pench name is derived from Pench. Many of the tiger reserve you see only 30 to 35 percent tiger reserve have a very significant opening as in uh, from where the name is derived. For example, Pili Bhid is derived from the Pili Bhid district itself. Um, 
we have read about Pench, we have read about Kali, we have read, we have read, uh, read about Bhadra. Now we uh, one of the next ones, the coming next one we will see Udati <laughs> Tiger Reserve. The rivers from the rivers it got it, their name. Okay, inside the park, Pench River flows from north to south before going to join a Kanahan River. River is important. Pench River, which emerges from the Mahadev Hills of the Satpula Range and various Nalas uh, drain into it, all the flows into the fo uh, forest of the protected area, the Pench River. Okay. So, it is the first one in the premium tiger reserve of India, first one to straddle across the two states, MP and Maharashtra. It straddles across two states, MP and Maharashtra. Uh, ordinary the reference to Pench is mostly to the Tiger Reserve in MP. The portion of trigger is then Madhya Pradesh nest, uh, nestled between a southern slope of Satpura range in the central India. Pench Tiger Reserve comprises of the Indra, Indra Pradarshini Pench National Park. Again, the century name is not important, but just read if it is written in the slide, just read it once. It may come, August the Tiger Reserve question shows that if you know a lot of knowledge, it will only help you. So, a Tiger Reserve, in, within this Tiger Reserve, we have Indra Priyadarshini Pench National Park and Pench Mowgli uh, Sanctuary and a buffer. Okay. Next, Kanha Tiger Reserve. Kanha, largest national park, it is the largest national park of MP and also of Central India. Okay, it has a significant population of Royal Bengal Tiger, Indian Leopard, Sloth Bear, Bara Singha, Indian Wild Dog. Okay, so let's see Kanha. Yeah. The forest depicted, this is important, the forest depicted in the famous novel by Rudyard Kipling, The Jungle Book is based upon the jungles including including this reserve. Basically, uh, the whole Mowgli, the jungle book, recently a movie also came on it. So, a lot of uh, central Indian, uh, these national parks and the ecological reasons were covered as in the inspirational part came from these places. This one is important, that uh, official mascot Bhur Singh, the Bara Singha. So this question may come that which of the tigers or which of the national park has uh, recently come up with the official mascot. So Bhur Singh the Bara Singha is the official mascot. You see the very uh, very beautiful image, Kana National Park, Kana you can see here Kana. Okay, meet the first official mascot, Incredible India you can see here, Incredible India, Madhya Pradesh. The heart of India they, uh, they make this slogan MP. So, just to relative location, this is uh, uh, this is Panna, this is Bandhogarh, this is Kanha, and this is Pench. For the relative, I want you to draw these maps also from you in your own copy. Okay. Next, we come to Achanakmar Tiger Reserve. It is also Biosphere Reserve. It is a part of the Achanakmar Amarkantak Biosphere Reserve, uh, linked by hilly uh, corridor to Tiger Reserve in Kanna, uh, Kanha MP. Uh, it is the Indian sanctuary in the Chhattisgarh state, Chhattisgarh state, and currently Tiger Reserve. We are that we are discussing. So, if the location there is no good images associated with it, this is just a written in Hindi. Uh, Hindi. So, if you see here, uh, you can see Achanakmar Wildlife Sanctuary here. Yeah, this wildlife sanctuary is here. The Amarkantak Range is here. You can see. So, from here you can have an idea of. You can see this is the boundary. This is an MP. This is Chhattisgarh. All the greenery shows what a green area it is. That is why it is also a biosphere reserve. Okay. So, I guess you got the map idea. I have also seen, uh, also made uh, this. I, if the map, proper map is not there on, I uh, will just use the Google map. So, as to give a very uh, location of the area. You should know a very good location, locational idea you must have. For example, this is very near to Raipur district. The capital of Chhattisgarh that we discussed with you. Okay, this is Chhattisgarh, this is Jharkhand. Okay, next we move. Next, Siddhanti Tiger Reserve. Siddhanti Tiger Reserve basically, Siddhanti and Udanti, is, you see, this area, these two protected area, when they match, they become actually they were sanctuaries. You see, sanctuaries now they combine together to make a Siddhanti Udanti Tiger Reserve. Siddhanti Tiger Reserve located in some district you don't need to remember Chhattisgarh named after Siddhanti river which originates from the sanctuary and joins Mahanadi. So, Siddhanti originates from here and they join the Mahanadi. It is written in Hindi if you can see 
उदांति सिद्धांति टाइगर रिजर्व में आपका स्वागत है दैट यू आर वेलकम इन टू सिद्धांति विदांति टाइगर रिजर्व ओके द इमेज ऑफ वाइल्ड वाटर बफेलो इज देयर वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ओनली वाई द वाइल्ड वर्ल्ड ऑफ बफेलो वाज आर वेरी फेमस हियर द फ्लोरा इन द उदांति उदांति इन उदांति उदांति रिवर फोर्स इन सिद्धांति सिद्धांति रिवर फ्लोस दैट द नेम दैट द ओरिजिन ऑफ नेम साल फॉरेस्ट आई एम डिस्कस द साल फॉरेस्ट वी विल फाइंड इन दिस एरिया अ लॉट ऑफ साल फॉरेस्ट वी विल फाइंड मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न हाफ ऑफ द सेंचुरी यू सी हियर उदांति रिवर एंड इट इज द गूगल आल्सो सेज दैट इट्स अ उदांति सिद्धांति टाइगर रिजर्व इज देयर ओके उड़ीसा छत्तीसगढ़ बॉर्डर now after that uh, we have only few tigers are left we have covered a lot of tiger reserve the last portion that we remains uh, remaining is west india so in the west india we will see first of all we will see melghat then we will see uh, more here tadoba we will see nagarjun sarisilam it's no that is the wrong that is wrong nagarjun is not here this map is also sometimes wrong navegaon najirika we see um, pench we have already seen bor we will see sayadri we will see so coming to the melghat so what is first of all mail ghat the name itself come from the meeting of the ghats meeting of the ghats so it was declared that among the first nine one of the nine tiger reserve so also remember what are the nine core tiger reserve earlier so that is a very important point also uh this point is important tapti and the goilgarh reach of goilgarh is not important but tapti is important tapti river from the boundary of the reserve if you are preparing for the maharashtra pcs or mp pcs then these small small facts are also important then uh, tapti river flows through the northern end of the melghat and tiger reserve through a forest which lies in the catchment area of the river okay uh, yeah, the meeting of the ghat that we are discussing that uh, <coughs> lies at the lies in the southwestern satpura mountain range melghat means meeting of the ghats which describes an area as a large tract of unending hills and ravine jagged by uh, scarred by the jagged cliff and steep climbs okay a very um, uneven area is there at lot of attitudinal variation so you see melghat tiger reserve okay let's move next tiger reserve we'll see tadoba tiger reserve tadoba andheri okay so name tadoba andheri from where it come tadoba is kind of a local god and andheri is the river that flows within it it is maharashtra's oldest and the largest tiger reserve it is the oldest and the largest tiger reserve of tadoba maharashtra tadoba is taken from the world uh, the god tadoba and the or the taru the worshiped by the tribes who live in the dense forest of tadoba andheri and andheri refers to the andheri andheri refers to the andheri river the names okay if you have some idea if you have read something uh, some basic historical knowledge it helps to connect with the place actually so the location is there nothing else is important here navegaon you can see here navegaon the location of navegaon nothing else no no informant important information was there next we see navegaon nazirika national park this is state, this location is wrong i have discussed that yeah this one So the national park located in the uh, in the state of Maharashtra. It is important. Doctor Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary is it, it is inside it and it is very important. Home to sixty percent of world species found in entire Maharashtra. So that is important. In two thousand sixteen, uh, a question was asked that which state recently declared butterfly as its uh, national uh, state um, state animal. State not animal, state bird or something like that. So some questions based upon the states are also asked. Okay. And the forest type here is southern tropical dry deciduous forest next we see sayadri sayadri tiger reserve sayadri is also the name of the western ghats in hindi so it is sayadri is the reserve of the state of maharashtra it is created by indian government in 2008 it is located in the sayadri range of the western ghat of maharashtra it is a part of the eco region of the north west ghat moist deciduous forest and the north western ghats mountain forest now you see if you are facing a lot of problem in deciduous mountain that is your issue you must read vegetation of india from the 5th chapter of ncert on i guess class 11th ncert or you should read from the other sources from your covering the geography part otherwise the tiger reserve will help you but it will help you more if you know all these things okay say adri tiger reserves it forms a common boundary between uh, uh, maharashtra karnataka goa and constitutes rich uh, green evergreen a moist deciduous forest and four district that's not important and uh, we move to the next one so say adri we have seen somewhere over here so now bore wildlife sanctuary and tiger reserve bore 
okay don't get bored it is very important okay so mm, bow tiger reserve and the some adjacent protected area will be merged with pench tiger reserve it is planned planned that satellite core area to double the area well established tiger reserve corridor uh, basically the idea of tiger corridors meeting those these uh, the nearby tiger reserve so that uh, a more comprehensive view of the conservation can be taken it includes within its uh, boundaries the bore dam okay the name is there bore dam it is centrally located uh, among other the bengal uh, tiger habitats for example pench um, melgha tiger reserve we have seen the location where it is located very nearby to all those area it is also nearby to area named nagpur headquarter of one of the famous uh, institute uh, organization in india so the, the nagpur in the next session we will also see tagpur nagpur is also said to be the tiger capital of india because in this region our tiger conservation has seen an upswing that is um, this region has saw an improvement in the overall tiger uh, tiger uh, ecosystem in india tiger conservation ecosystem next we move to the uh, sariska tiger reserve sariska tiger reserve ranthambore and the uh, mukundra hills last three tiger reserves remaining i know it's a very boring and can be a boring for or can be fascinating for someone if they are loving the maps and all but uh, let me tell you it is very important uh, so let's last three are remaining and after that we'll be ending this session and we'll be meeting in the next session with some different different uh, current affair and some initiative stuff so sariska ranthambore and mukundra hills so let's come to the sariska first sariska is a tiger reserve in the alwar district very famous alwar district comprising of the scrub thorn acid arid forest dry deciduous because of the rainfall issue okay it is the first tiger reserve first reserve in world with a successfully relocated tigers but the relocated tigers uh, recently the news has come that uh, the relocated tiger was not able to survive a lot so still a lot work lot work has to be done in the relocation part um <coughs> the problem with the marble mining uh, threatens this uh, place it's a part of aravalli range and kathiawal grid dry deciduous forest eco region rich in mineral region such as copper so copper and all is there marble is there so a lot of uh, poaching not poaching but uh, exploitation of these resources that creates a problem for the pe people and uh, with respect to this cultural thing viratnagar ruins of the buddhist monastery on the hillock called bijakki pahadi that dates back to 3rd century bc so some historical area is also associated with viratnagar now the, if the question comes viratnagar uh, these things are asked then the confusion will be not in viratnagar they will not ask in kalakad mudunthurai they will ask in uh, viratnagar in in uh, for example ranthambore it is in ranthambore or it is in sariska or it is in um, somewhere kanha or pench something like that so don't get confused these small very small small details are needed just to get the question right kangfadi forest a 16th century forest originally built by jay singh to located at the center of the park kangfadi fort okay 16th century structure now we come to the ranthambore welcome to the ranthambore tiger reserve so declared one of the project uh, tiger reserve 1973 one of the nine tiger reserves the nine, next uh, it became a national park later and uh it is included within its sawai mansing and uh, kela devi sanctuary so small small sanctuaries are also included within it to make it a very comprehensive tiger reserve structure ranthambore tiger reserve it is known for the bengal tigers and the best time to see the tiger is november and may parks deciduous forest are a characteristic example of the type of jungle found in the central india it should be in the central india but we have covered in the western india so don't get confused that why i have covered in the western india that just the classification that we made for our convenience that's it the part deciduous forest were characteristic example of the type of jungle found in the central india these kind of jungle are found in the central india then iranthambo tiger reserve uh, is a sanctuary to wide variety of trees plants bird reptiles and one of the largest banyan tree one of the largest banyan tree see here largest banyan tree further the fauna include the indian leopard nil gai wild boar sambhar sloth bear something like that so magar crocodile is important species as a dracius monkey is normal not a important species next it lies at the edge it is important and bound by the river the rivers are important as i discussed uh, that i should have 
kept it very first. The, it is first of all it's named after the historic Ranthambor fortress which lies within the park. Ranthambor the uh, fortress fort it is there which is inside the park. Secondly, uh, edge of a plateau and bounded by the north by the Banath river and in the south by Chambal river. So Banas in the north and Chambal by the south. Just remember this fact. Banas in Banas in the north and Chambal by in the south. Okay. Next we will see uh, Mukundra Hills Tiger Reserve, the third tiger reserve situated in the um, Rajasthan, you know, land of tigers. Location, we have seen this. Remember the location, the question can be asked to arrange them from north to south. So, it will help you. Next, uh, India, uh, it is Rajasthan's third tiger reserve, earlier known as the Darrah National Park, D A R R A H. It is the combination of three wildlife sanctuaries named Darra Wildlife Sanctuary, Chambal Wildlife Sanctuary and Jaswan Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary. So, three wildlife sanctuaries are there, uh, combination of these three wildlife sanctuary and it became a tiger reserve. The name Darra, Darra, very, uh, it is a Hindi name Darra, for example, Jojila Darra, Jojila Pass we say, na? so this is a pass in the local language, derived from the locality is a place, serves as a pass during the war for, by British and Rajput. In the wars, uh, some small, for example, this big area is their biggest area, small pass in between these two areas, like in between two mountains, cross one mountain to the other, within one mountain, the, the passes are there, right? So, Dharra they are also called, they along with the boundary of the four majestic river flow, Chambal, Kali, Ahu, Ramzan, right? Beautiful park and scenic beauty are located based upon the mountain of the Mukundra and Gargola. You don't have to remember these small, small facts, just remember uh, what is Dharra, earlier known as Dharra National Park. For rivers like Kali, Chambal, Ahu, Ramzan. Don't remember the name, just keep that in your mind, hai na? in a latent memory wise. If the question comes, then it will help you. And what else can be remembered in Mukundra? It is the latest one here. Uh, three wildlife sanctuaries are inside. Don't, don't remember the name. You can remember the name of Chambal Wildlife Sanctuary because Chambal uh, can be asked. Okay. Because recently, 2017 18, the question was asked on the Chambal Wildlife Sanctuary. I'll discuss that question. I'll put that also question in the next. Uh, next uh, class in the next to next it will be covered in the temple uh, series in the not the temple series but the animal series okay uh, but sadly it is perhaps it is now one of the kind without a tiger in it so there are so many um, tiger reserve where which are doing good but uh, unfortunately mukundra hills like it does not for the current information is there it does not have any kind of tiger population maybe a few but uh, a lot of conservation is required in this tiger reserve so, we have uh, successfully covered, I hope successfully, um, from my side at least and I hope from your side uh, you will revise that uh, and complete this. So, successfully we have completed this series, uh, at least this, uh, not series, this uh, session and uh, in totality we have covered all the 50 uh, Tiger Reserve. Um, in the next class what we will discuss, in the last session of the Tiger Reserve, that will be a very, very short session, not the long session like this. In that, we will cover the global initiative like Global Tiger Forum, uh, T, T into 2 Summit, T into 2 Initiative, uh, Project Tiger we will discuss, the 9 Tiger Reserves that was earlier, we will discuss that and we will finally end our this session with solving those 5 to 6 problems, uh, those questions in the very recent year that we started our session with. So, th there then only you will realize what is the importance of reading this Tiger Reserve, okay. So, till then, uh, just stay focused try to read the conventional uh, conventional sources in a conventional way and also unconventional way because this unconventional way what you will try that will only improve your um, marks in the prelims because it is the uniqueness of every individual which makes them qualify this exam. It is not because everybody is reading the same content. What unique you do to this exam that what makes you uh, like become successful in this exam. Okay, then see you in the next session. Thank you.